What's up YouTube? Good morning. I'm going to do a three month report on the Antminer Z9. First, let me turn it off so we can hear me well. So the Z9 Mini is now three months, been mining 24-7. I did shut it off here and there uh, for some occasions, but not a lot. I would say at least 99% uptime. Now let's talk numbers. I made about 7.2 Zcash coins since I bought this, since I started. Zcash coins, 7.2 right now worth about $900, $125 per coin. Now it did cost me some money to run this machine for three months, about $90 for electricity. So we have about $800 that this machine produced for me. Uh, that's the result of mining for basically 24 seven for three months. I paid $1,600 for it, so I'm still short about $800 since I bought it. But remember, I still have the Z9. And amazingly, it still makes profit. It makes $130 per month, which is about one Zcash. And it costs 30 bucks per month for the electricity price, so you are profiting $100 a month. Difficulty does go up, um, obviously it went up a lot since the past three months, I would say at least five times more difficulty, so it will take longer to get your profit as time goes by. But there is something um, about buying a miner and mining compared to buying the crypto that I noticed. Uh, even though I'm not in the profit yet, I still have a machine that I can sell. Now there's possibility that this machine will be worthless, but right now it still makes profit, so I can still sell it and overall make profit. So it's really hard to do those calculations, but uh, I think the main goal in mining is find a way out. You know, find a way when you can um, basically have less risk on your investment. The least amount of risk, the better. So if you do get into mining, you have to really calculate it. If you have a way out, if cryptocurrency goes to zero, there's no really way out, but at least this machine will worth something. You can sell it for something, even the aluminum if, the, if it's really, really bad. But um, yeah, so this is my experience mining. It's pretty quiet. Um, I had good experience with it. I do replace the filters all the time. I wash them out, well, let them to dry. So I have two of them. One that I, I take out, I wash out, let it dry for a day or something like that. And then I have a second one, clean one that I put in and then the machine can just keep running. So this kept the machine really quiet and really well. And I recommend this machine because it's, it's very small and quiet, you know, it, and it doesn't take a lot of power. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it, you know, we just have to be, keep mining, you know, it takes time. You might lose some money, you might make some money, just like a stock market, you know, you buy stock and it goes up, it goes down. You can't go crazy every time the stock market goes up and down. You can't use too much emotion. You have to try to use logic and don't lose money. Just like Warren Buffett said, rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, look at rule number one. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe and like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment below what do you think about the Z9. And if you want to get one of those filters, check out BitcoinMerch.com. They're like 10 bucks and they're very, very useful. They saved my life. Sometimes I find really bu big bugs in there. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.